Hey everyone, Ryan from Caddy Disc Golf, and today's vlog is going to be a little bit different than the vlogs that you have seen and come to like. It's going to be a bit more conversational rather than showing you guys round coverage or doing a disc review or something. I'm going to just talk to you guys about a part of my game that is both a blessing and a curse. And that is the gift of being ambidextrous. So when I first started disc golfing, it was in 2010, beginning of 2011. And I was a right-handed thrower because I am right-handed. And even though I truthfully believe it felt better in my left hand at first, my buddy kind of pushed me to throw righty. He said, if you're right-handed, you throw righty. That's just what you do. So I played right-handed for about the first six to eight months of just being into disc golf. And within um, that period, I was already so big into it that my buddy and I planned a trip up north, northern Wisconsin, to play some new courses and to just enjoy disc golf in the outdoors. On day one, our trip up to the campground, we played two courses, and on the second course, I hurt my rotator cuff really bad. I never went to get it looked at, but I could barely move my, my shoulder, let alone my arm, um, after it had happened. I was really crushed because, you know, I had just fallen in love with disc golf, and I just wanted to play all these courses that we had planned and, and just really enjoy my time out on the course, but I had just hurt myself. And so there was a sense of, you know, a feeling of devastation that, that came with that as well. But I didn't let it get to me. I just decided to play lefty for the remainder of the trip and, you know, let my arm heal up. I didn't want to work through the pain, didn't want to hurt it more. And that's exactly what I did. I played lefty. So day one of throwing lefty was, you know, a little bit difficult, but honestly, it felt more natural. And by the second or third round of, of playing left-handed, I actually was throwing farther and more consistent lefty than I was with my right hand. And over the course of, you know, the rest of that trip and, and even returning home and playing the courses that I have around me, as a left-handed player, I just enjoyed it so much. I enjoyed that the course shots were different. I enjoyed being the only lefty in my group. And so I decided to just stay lefty. I wasn't gonna go back to throwing right-handed. I was just gonna throw lefty and, and that's what I did. Now, fast forward to 2015. Uh, between 2013 and 2015, I have gone through just a series of events in my life that um, were pretty hard to go through, which I won't get into, but it required me to um, focus on something. And so that something I decided to focus on was, was fitness. And so I had lost 64 pounds. Um, at that point, I was playing the best disc golf of my life. I was also still really big into skateboarding, so I was skateboarding the best um, that I had ever skateboarded, trying tricks that I never would have tried a few years prior or even now. And in uh, December of 2015, that's when things kind of took a turn. It was the second week of December. I had signed up for the PDGA. I was super excited to uh, start competing in sanctioned events in 2016. Just really excited to kind of jump into that whole uh, competitive side of the sport. And then a week later, I broke my arm skateboarding. So I'm about to show you the x-ray of my broken arm. If you're kind of oozy about that sort of thing, then I would maybe scroll um, another minute or two into the video. Um, but like I said, it's just an x-ray and it's, it's not too bad. So here's the x-ray of my arm. I snapped my humerus in half directly in between my shoulder and my elbow. As you can see, it was a nice clean break. 
Um, they were actually hoping it would be a jagged break because then they could kind of line it up and let gravity do its thing. But because it was perfectly broken, I had to have surgery. Now, something that I also want to mention is when I fell, I also dislocated these two fingers. Uh, they were bent um, almost 90 degrees over my pinky, and so they had to reset those and then put my arm in a cast in which I wore this kind of like rehab cast for a couple weeks before they could get me in for surgery and get my arm put back together. So January 4th of 2016, I had a metal plate installed and it's still in there today. It runs from my elbow all the way to my shoulder. I had broke my humerus right in half here. So I have four screws up here and I have four screws down here. I also have some arthritis in those fingers that I hurt. Uh, is it arthritis? It might be, yeah, it's arthritis, not carpal tunnel. Too young for that. Arthritis. Um, and, and so, you know, I pretty much gave Lefty Disc Golf uh, a kiss goodbye at that point. After I had gone through my, my rehab, it was probably March, early April, after having surgery that prior January, I had tried throwing lefty and just the pain was re really bad. Everything just felt wrong. And, and so, you know, I decided to go back to my roots and throw right-handed. So I hadn't thrown righty at all um, since my injury in 2011, and so I struggled with some pretty bad shoulder pain at first. My form was so off, um, you know, everything just was rough, but I decided I was gonna commit to that, and that's exactly what I did. At the end of April, so just four months after having surgery on my left arm, I played in my first sanction event with my right arm, and got my first ever rating of 816. It was very rough. I took second to last in the recreational division um, at a course that I pretty much struggled with even as a lefty. And it was, it was pretty tough, but just through dedication and, and my friends and, and wanting to be a part of the sport um, from the beginning of 2016 to the end of the 2018 season, uh, I've worked my way from 816 to what I'm rated now, which is 890. So in September of 2018, the league that I run here in Wisconsin was coming to an end and I was playing really bad um, one of the last weeks of league. And so as a joke, I decided to throw with my left arm and just see how it felt and just see what would happen. I think my first drive, I ended up throwing my Pro Destroyer like 350 feet with my left hand. It was it was crazy, um, and it didn't hurt. I mean, it was kind of stiff in the elbow area, but my shoulder, um, nothing else had hurt. Now, something that I should have mentioned earlier was early 2018, maybe late 2017, um, I had another skateboard accident where I fell on my shoulder and I hurt it really bad to the point where, again, I couldn't move it. I actually was contemplating going into the ER after a few days, but as time went on, it progressed. And, and now I have like a permanent, like when I rotate my shoulder, there's a popping that happens or like a grind. So I don't know what I did, but I did something to it. So because I had found so much success driving lefty at league, I decided that I was going to see how much I could throw lefty while keeping my right arm loose. And it turned out that, you know, I could do both. And I was able to eliminate my righty sidearm just because, you know, I have a really bad sidearm form in that. The sidearm would kind of hurt my shoulder um, the most. So it's nice not having to two sidearm. If I wanna do a shot that finishes to the right, I can just throw with my left. And if I wanna finish to the left, I can just throw, my, throw with my right. Um, but because I you know, hadn't been lefty in so long, I kinda of dove right in and decided that I wanted to be primarily lefty and only throw righty when I needed that shot that finished to the left. And so continued to throw lefty with no problems. 
And I didn't even think about the fact that there's metal in my arm and that just my shoulder to elbow region in general has just gone through a lot of trauma over the last couple of years. Kind of jumped into it maybe too quickly and um, something kind of crept up that is causing me to be a little bit um, stressed out about, you know, what's happening. So something that happens when you have hardware in your body is that when the, the um, barometric pressure lowers, the metal in your arm can do certain things that then affect your joints and just kind of make your joints feel achy um, and kind of painful. And typically it would happen when the humidity was lower or the temperature was colder. Um, what would happen is my arm would ache really bad. And this has happened since the surgery. My arm would ache really bad for maybe you know a day, maybe two days, and then it would kind of go away and everything would be back to normal. Well, last week, Tuesday, the Tuesday before my weekend trip to Rockford to play some new courses and play the indoor event, I started to get that pain. Now, I wasn't worried because, like I said, it usually only lasted a day or two. Um, got to Wednesday, it was still killing me. Got to Thursday, it was hurting worse. Got to Friday, still bothering me. And at this point, I was super discouraged because like I said, we had this trip planned and I was really looking forward to going on the trip. And it turns out that the, you know, I played league on Saturday before we left for Rockford Lefty and really struggled. It was really painful. And so I decided to, to switch back to the right for the remainder of, of the trip. And, you know, I haven't been practicing my form. My hips were not twisting. My timing was off. I was using way more arm than I was, um, you know, my hips. And so my right shoulder was really bothering me. You know, it's just, I couldn't get anything going and it was, it was pretty discouraging. Also, I hadn't thrown righty all that much um, since probably the end of last year. So, um, you know, it's kind of rusty and, and, you know, probably should have stretched. But so, what I decided is that at any time my left arm, because of just the metal in it, it can just start hurting whenever, you know, the temperature controls that. And I was thinking about my trip to Glass Blown Open in April and how devastated I would be if the week of my throwing arm started to act up and I had to resort to my opposite arm, something that I'm not as comfortable with. And when I look at the, the, the injuries that both of my arms have kind of endured, I've decided that my right arm is in better shape than my left. And although I truthfully believe that both of my shoulders probably require surgery at this point, the right one, as long as I'm consistent with having a good form, doesn't give me any issues. And as long as I use it a lot and you know don't let it get rusty, there's not a lot of pain that happens. And so, though I'm an ambidextrous player, I do have both shots in my in my um, fleet, and you know I can throw anywhere from 350 to 380 with both of my arms. I'm gonna switch to being a, you know, back from being that lefty the last couple months, back to being a righty, just because again the injuries with my right arm are nowhere near as severe, or unpredictable as my left arm. And it's a bummer because I really do enjoy being a lefty. I like seeing the course differently um, and having to play it differently, which I mentioned prior. But I just think for, you know, being able to play disc golf and, and progressing and, and most importantly, not hurting myself, it's best that I throw uh, righty as much as I can. Now, if my, you know, if my arm is, my left arm is in good shape and, and I'm able to use it, a lefty hyzer or something during a round, definitely going to take advantage of that. Um, you know, you can still call me an ambidextrous player, just instead of my left arm being my primary arm, I'm gonna be working on my right arm um, for the remainder of the season. And someday I'll be humble enough to go get my shoulders looked at to see if um, you know there's some sort of surgery that that might be needed and then after that maybe become humble enough to actually get the surgeries 
But until then, I'm just gonna really focus on different strength exercises that I can do with both my arms that would just help with my elbows and my shoulders and everything. Try to find a, a stretching um, routine that I can do before rounds and after rounds to make sure that any stress to, to my shoulders um, can be reduced. And ultimately, keep my eyes fixed on kind of what my goals are um, as a disc golfer in 2019, I really just want to um, move from 890 and break that 900 mark. Um, I would love to be competing in advanced uh, by the end of the year, but I think that really my goal is to just break 900 and to see what I can do there. So that's kind of my story on being a lefty and righty um, disc golfer why I've switched over the years uh, a couple different times and kind of what's brought me to where I'm at. If you have any questions about kind of this process, I'd love to hear them, drop them in the comments. Let's get a conversation started. Otherwise, if uh, you don't have any other further questions, then just wanna say thanks for listening to my slight uh, sappy story here. Um, looking forward to sharing with you guys progress on everything and yeah again thanks for watching and we'll see you guys soon